You're right everyone, it's Ace here from Team RCC. So I'm going to show you how to tie a over the top band set to your pouch. Um, I've always used wrap and tuck with little bits of elastic and whatnot, but I've had a little bit of a change around. This way does away with band jigs completely and I'm trying to attract new people to the sport. And Sometimes when they feel they've got to build a band jig and buy a band jig it becomes a little bit of hassle and there is no need for it so uh, this is how I'm doing it now on this pen we've got constrictor knots tied up now a constrictor knot is a very basic simple knot if you go on YouTube and put in the search bar how to tie a constrictor knot there'll be numerous videos showing you how to do it if you can't learn how to tie a constrictor knot within two minutes then there's uh, maybe something a little bit wrong with you because they are uh, extremely easy not to tie now I'll show you hang on one minute I'm using this Marlow fishing twine whipping twine it's number four it's waxed and this seems to work very well for me so what I've done once you've learned how to do your constrictor knot get a pen and tie numerous constrictor knots on it ready to go there's 20 on there which will make 10 band sets so then what I would do is I'd get my pouch I'll put my pouch near the edge of the pen and I'll slide one of these knots down so we're sliding a knot down Fold the pouch over the pen and what we get then is you've transferred your constrictor knot to your pouch. Quite simple. And then do the same on the other side. You slide it down. and a once again over your pouch right we don't need that anymore so what you'll have now is two constrictor knots on your pouch now you get your elastic my elastic are all lined all out where I want to uh, put on the pouch in between those lines is my active taper now I always put my band sets on with the knot on the inside of the pouch as a opposed to standard on the outside the reason why I do this for is on the outside the little bit of rubber on the knot that's what you cut off the excess catches me cheek and it can eventually cause scraping and it bleeds so I tie them on the inside and I don't get it at all um, it does not affect accuracy because the knots don't touch by the time you put the bearing in anyone that says it does is telling you rubbish so you fold over one simple fold just like that pull it through the hole and then what I'll do is I'll line up the pen mark on the bands to the edge of the pouch like that and then what we do is a simple fold over like that try and get the folds as neat as you can It's fiddly at first but you'll get used to it and then you'll have that then what you do quite simply slide your knot off the pouch over on to the elastic then I'll get the top one in my teeth bottom one here and I'll just pull now don't overdo your pull because you want to adjust your knot now what I would do is I'd stretch the elastic out and I'd slide the knot closer to the pouch and you can keep going and going and keep pulling as much as you want you can make this as big or as small as you like I like them quite small so I'm gonna stretch it a little bit more until I'm happy then make sure your knots level and just pull you don't have to really give it some on this either just just until you feel it not going anymore like that cut off the excess
Now what I do, because the fishing twine is double stranded, to stop it from fraying, it won't, it won't come undone, but to stop it from fraying, just get a lighter and just nick the end. And that will melt it together and it makes it nice and neat. And we'll cut off like that. Keep all this nice and neat again. Nice and neat. As you can see, the knot's on the inside or it's on the outside if you want to use the suede side out. Some people will like using the suede side out. And we'll do the same for this one. Fold over. Get it through. Get the pouch down to the line that you've made on the band if that is your preference. Fold the elastic over. Get your knot. Push your knot down onto the elastic. Pull. Adjust your knot into where you want it to be. Match it up to the other side, that's quite important. And then simply pull. Everything all cut all off nice and neat. A little lighter on there. Just to neaten that up a bit. And there we have it. TTF band set. Sorry, OTT band set. This is definitely an OTT one. Not side in. As I said, when the ball bearing's in, those knots don't touch. And that's job done. No need for a band jig or anything else. Uh, a band jig's a thing of the past. It's, it's generally not needed. Right, like I say, that's the OTT version. The next video I'll do, we'll be doing the TTF version, which is slightly different. Cheers, thanks for watching.